no sponsorship, but hey, thank you, McDonald's. Now, I'm sitting in a car park. Thought I'd do <clears throat> just a little quick diary video today, because quite frankly, there's no golf, okay? So it's only going to be me chatting away. If you'd like to go away now, fine. But if not, stick around. Um, what can I say? What can I say for the latest diary video? Not a lot has been happening. And uh, I think that's stressful. Stressful. I've been watching other people's YouTube videos. Um, what little there is around to watch. Uh, because again, there's been very little golf. Um, and wondering what to do next, really. I don't have uh, Sky Sports or um, fancy telly channels, etc. So I can't go and watch golf on telly. Would be nice, I suppose. Or would it? Is that just not even more frustrating? Because quite frankly, the weather continues to be pants. It continues to be pretty damn awful. Now, I know there have been a few decent days, but unfortunately, um, life gets in the way. It does. Life is more important than golf. Yes, it is, even though you're on a golf channel. Um, so the timing has often been bad. And uh, the days I have had free have just been appalling, as you can see from the weather in this little bit of video. So, I've also been looking at Instagram and all the different updates on Twitter or X, as it's called now. Why they ever changed it, I don't know. Um, and courses all over, not just Cornwall, but a lot of the country are constantly, constantly saying the same thing. Bad weather, waterlogged, can't film, sorry, can't play. Sorry, I'm used to filming all the time when I play. Temporary greens, if you're lucky. Unable to use buggies. Unable to use trolleys. Now that's an interesting question. We'll come back to that in a second. And it's just been frustrating for everyone. Everyone, okay? Not just players, golfers like myself and you watching, but the, the owners and the managers and the people who run the courses and everything else, because it's just... Well, must be financially quite crippling, I would have thought. So, so I've been watching some videos, and uh, I found uh, Simon, Harry Golfer, and I and I love Simon to bits, and uh, we'll hopefully be doing some videos with him at some point in the future when the weather improves. And um, just watched his video from Friday, and I was going to do this video the other day because, like everyone else, I was sitting at home watching the rain again. And he did a very similar video to this, because quite frankly, a lot of the videos going out at the moment are like this. He was saying uh, how he's looking for new, got a new club to join, but right now, everywhere is just really bad to, to play golf. The conditions are really bad, so you can't go and check them out or anything. And uh, playing is very limited. And he hasn't actually played golf in this country anyway for quite some months. Good morning and welcome to the office. There isn't a golf video today simply because, well, I haven't played golf. Since the 24th of November, I've managed the grand total of nine holes. Because, you know, he's not a, not a young man like me. As in, not a young man like me. Not, not, a, not a young man, not a young man like me. I understand, anyway. I'm waffling. Um, so, weather gets in the way of many of us relatively senior golfers, okay? And uh, he's been good enough to send me a little piece of footage from Brickhampton Golf Club, which uh, he put on his video, and it's showing the state of the course uh, during one of those really bad days. Take a look. A 
And these kind of conditions, although that is probably a little bit extreme, maybe, these kind of conditions are all over the country right now. Certainly all over Cornwall. And I am a member of um, Merlin, or what used to be called Merlin, is now Morgan Porth Golf Club. I still think it's further away than the pitching wedge, but, and that's, this ball's covered in mud, as you can tell. Um, but, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with it. Proper swing, yeah? Well, oh, not bad. It's a little bit on the left, but that's okay. And, uh, yeah, we, we tried to do a bit of footage there and filming, and it was pretty boggy when I played. Oh, by the train station. Oh, that's not me, I promise. That's the, uh, that's the express going to London. I'm in Penzance at the moment. Uh, so, it's been tricky to play. It's not been enjoyable to play, no matter where. I go, and I know it's it's fun to go out and play with the lads or with people I meet. Because obviously we filmed the other day at Fingal Glen, and it was great fun to meet the road golfers. But the game is getting destroyed. My game certainly getting destroyed, and probably yours is getting destroyed a little bit because the conditions are just so bad. Yeah, and again, through work. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you're nearly there. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, not playable doing it really. In places, anyway. We are losing balls left, right and centre, mainly because they land on even the fairways at times and just sink. If you can get on a course. And when you do and you hit a ball, it just doesn't go anything like what you're hoping. And, you know, quite frankly, maybe, maybe, because it could be controversial, maybe um, golf should be a summer sport. Talking of summer sports, oh, it's not the camera. Uh, it was a cricket season started um, yesterday as I'm filming this. As you can see, conditions still a problem for that too. Now, when I was speaking to road golfers the other day, they actually said that they hadn't managed to play since Christmas, at least Christmas, on a course using they're using ranges and uh, kind of indoor track mans and stuff, but you know, not not on a course. And nothing really replaces real golf. As, as much as we love going to do practice, some of us. And, um, you know, we can enjoy the delights of indoor stuff. And I will be showing a video of a new little indoor place that I found. But it's a different kind of game, isn't it? It's a different kind of um, way to play the game, or at least to swing a club and hit a ball, okay? We all want to be outside. We want to be outside in the open air, enjoying the delights of the English, if we're watching this in England, or weather, wherever you are. But it's just not been good, has it? It's just not been good. I'm actually in Penzance today because I'm going to go into the post office to get some passport forms because I've not had a passport for a couple of years and I thought I'd get my passport done. Um, we're going to get them all done for the family. No, not because we can afford to go abroad right now, but it's uh, we need to get one for my daughter who's going to uni for um, some identification, so we might as well get them all done. And you never know, maybe there's an opportunity at some point in the future to go to somewhere sunny or dry, and maybe play some golf at some point. So if I've got a passport, if the family got passports, there's always that potential, there's always that hope that we can go somewhere when it's really bad. It's almost felt like, that's quite controversial, it's almost felt like it's been the kind of COVID years. Remember that? It wasn't very long ago. Completely frustrated by not being able to go and play golf and all those kind of issues that we just couldn't go and weren't able to go and play, and it's kind of felt like that now but unable to play now before we finish this up simon harry golfer remember him when i was waffling a little while ago mentioned something since the 24th of november i've managed the grand total of nine holes that's because it's been so wet here and courses have been closed or they've been open with restrictions like carry only or we've only got eight holes and it's carry only trouble with carry only is what it says is you lot over there you can play you lot over there you can't play you're elderly you can't carry you're female you've never carried in your life you've always had a trolley you've got injuries you can't carry either so you lot can't play but you can you young fit men you can play 
I think it's a bit discriminatory, don't you? I mean, if the golf course is that wet that you can't have a pull trolley or a battery trolley, then quite frankly, the course should be closed. Now, he doesn't do carry only because he's got a neck issue. And I must admit, I would struggle a bit with carry only, but I, I have done it. But um, plenty of people of a certain age or who have various body health issues who enjoy the game are actually not being allowed to play golf. And is that some kind of discrimination? Because is it any worse to uh, use a trolley if you're careful with it, keep to the paths, that kind of thing? I know that just walking on a, on a green is pretty bad at times. We squelch around on some of them, leaving footprints, etc. So why should carrying be any worse than trolley? Still a serious amount of weight on top of uh, your normal body weight, whatever weight you are. That's still coming down, by the way, very slowly, but it is coming down. So is there kind of some kind of um, opportunity for disabled or disability rights people to kind of say there's an issue here? I don't know, but be careful. Golf clubs and golf um, managers, etc. Because there just might be. This might be a discriminatory thing. So, I am due to be playing tomorrow. I know. Hopefully. Hope. Because Nick Cooper, one of our Buccaneers, is playing with Neil Allen, uh, another one of our Buccaneers, as you know, and they're members at West Cornwall, and they've invited me to come and play West Cornwall tomorrow. And I happen to have the time free. Fortunately, I've seen the weather report. Hmm. Like I said, doesn't always work out that way. But even though there have been serious weather reports coming through for this week, as you can see from the little picture I'm putting on, possibly, possibly, there is hope for the future. Another week or so, maybe, things are hopefully going to improve. Hopefully. That's the title of this video hope. However, remember, as a passing thought, it's the hope that kills you. Bye everybody, speak soon. We're gonna, I'm trying to go and get on a course and do some filming. Even if I go out tomorrow, there will only be a few photographs on Instagram, etc. Because quite frankly, I'm not going to put a camera out there and get it soaked again. It cost me a fair number of hundred pounds to get the camera fixed last time, the main one. And I can't afford to keep doing that on the amount of money we're earning on YouTube. Discuss that on another, another video. Gonna go. I'm gonna get these passports and then go home to the dry and make some more foodie videos for Big Oggy World. But we're doing mini egg brownies because I saw this on Instagram, on from done from one of the wonderful ladies that I love in baking. Yep. I'd marry her if I wasn't already married. The damn cheek of it. She, she wouldn't want me anyway. Please go and subscribe to that because uh, it's important. It really is important for us that that grows too. Help bring a few pennies in. To hopefully allow me to go and play golf sometimes but the weather is better hopefully be patient everybody it'll be happening soon promise golf will be back hopefully <laughs>